Okay, I'm going to talk about uh, the Ethos HD a little bit. Some things I like, some things I don't like. And for the most part, I really like this quadcopter. I like the way the canopy snaps in here. You could see, I mean, it, it just snaps in really well. You got two points on, on each spreader arm for your motors. Locks in really good. The, um, the vibration dampeners, I would definitely look at every pre-flight that you do because they come out really easily. But they also go in very easily. I mean, there's nothing to it. Just pop them back in there. I did uh, knock the camera off of it. Don't know how I did that. Maybe when I flew it into the tree the other day, I didn't know it came loose. Um, we'll talk about the camera a little bit. It, it comes with a lens cap, which is something I'm not used to. The uh, 130QX does not, or QX130. And I, I, the first couple of times I actually tried to do a video with it, uh, I forgot to take the lens cap off, so I got nothing but black. And according to the instructions, it will work off of uh, the quadcopter, and it's true. They got buttons up here that control it. When it's connected to the quadcopter, it's actually mounted upside down, but the controller on the quadcopter flips the image right side up for you. It don't do that off of the quadcopter. Somebody asked me if it was underpowered, and you can see these motors are much larger. There's my little finger. I'd compared the two, but uh, I lost my other one last night. Low voltage disconnect over the trees wasn't a happy thing. <laughs> but anyway, you can see that the motor's much bigger. It is not underpowered. Um, I was doing flips with it yesterday, and it will flip in like a cubic foot. I mean, it just, it does not, and it's after three minutes of flying, so it does not, um, you know, fall out of the sky like a rock when you do a flip. I cut the throttle on it because somebody asked me to do that and let it fall, I don't know, maybe 50 feet, and then hit the throttle again, and it just almost stops. Uh, it recovers very nicely. So just a couple of things, you know, like I was saying, to keep an eye on when you're flying this thing. You bring her down, make sure your shock absorbers are in place, make sure your camera's locked in there. The battery sits in here really nice and tight. It is not going to fall out. I don't care what you do. Canopy's not going to come off. Like I said, it's, 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 kinda, it, it's got really, it, I mean, it's really secure this time. Spreader arms look nice and strong. Uh, you have to really crash the crap out of it. I hope I never do. And I think I mentioned one of my videos, I think it's this LED don't work. I have to wiggle it. There's probably a loose connection in here and I'm not even going to worry about it. These LEDs have much to be desired. They're way too small. That's one of the things I don't like. And I actually think that they need to have LEDs not facing, facing down, yes, but also forward somewhere. I don't know where they would put them. And use bigger ones. I mean, my goodness, these are so tiny. And LEDs are so cheap. It uses a, what is it, a... 7 volt battery or something like that so a super bright 5 volt LED would be really nice on here and you know another thing too you know you don't have to take the canopy off to do anything so why not put a nice bright super bright LED one pointing down and one pointing straight forward right in the middle of this canopy and that would really help out in orientation and that's about all I got for now enjoy your Aries